Hey, what's up? So a bunch of you people on Reddit been asking me how did I make this scene over here uh, with the uh, dystopian looking things. It looks kind of like this in a fog. And it's all in Eevee, all real time, uh, all that fun stuff are ready for to be animated. And it looks kind of complex and intimidating. But it's actually not. It's actually a bunch of, of the same object uh, scaled differently. And uh, some of them have roofs in this example. And some of them don't have any roofs. And a bunch of bridges. A bunch of uh, like three types of bridges that I modeled. And uh, they're all in here to break the randomness. Uh, and uh, also from the inside point of view, it doesn't look repetitious. Uh, well, it, with the buildings sometimes it's kind of good that they uh, repeat because they do repeat in real life. So it looks kind of like this. And originally I wanted to make a tutorial and breakdown of this scene, but then I decided to make a whole a separate project from it. And I made this. So this is actually a building generator. It's kind of a rig. So I have this building over here and this little rig over here. And if I move it up, the whole building grows. And obviously if I move it down, it shrinks and everything automatically adjusts uh, to this size. And let's look at it in uh, in the EV viewport and you can have this tiny cute building and if I want to let's grow it a bit um, if I rotate it a little on the z-axis it loses the the beveling of um, the whole building becomes more squarish and um, if I move this gizmo I still have it selected uh, on I believe X. It makes this, and uh, if I move it on Y, different. Yeah, in here. This is how it looks. So basically, by duplicating this collection that I have over here, I can make a bunch of separate buildings with, like, randomly rotating this. I can. Uh, have a new interesting look to the building, but you don't even have to have um, separate buildings. Uh, it's still gonna look fine, like in this example, uh, just if you rotate them a bit and use different scale. But if you feel like this is not enough and uh, your building is not custom enough, or you wanna make some specific looking building that reminds you of something, uh, I have something in store for you as well. Every object in, in here, let me just make it more squarish, I guess. Yeah, it looks it looks okay. Every object in here that you see in here, um, it has different mirroring options and uh, different boolean options. Let me check if I'm recording. I am recording, okay. It uses the data from this linked object. So uh, you can go in and let's, let's, ta let's take this part and um, like these wires over over here, they're dangling a little too much, isn't it? Uh, let me just go in and uh, select all of them, go into edit mode. And do something like this. Here we go, more elegant, I think. Now, what if you want to change this a little, do some simple low poly modeling and here we go, our shape duplicated and wire framed and mirrored and you have kind of completely different feel for the building and instead of just using this one, let me show the other template that I have where every part is just a block. So here we can once again change this. 
and uh, now let's do some fun dumb stuff like add some loop cuts select this or maybe extrude this i'm just doing some random stuff let's bevel some random stuff i guess you can bevel this exit out and uh, here we go we have something interesting and kind of soviet union looking um let me just kill it down a little so we have more of them like so or you can even do this sort of thing and you have a completely different look now this block over here is linked to uh, this part I believe so let's once again try to check or deselect some something and it doesn't work okay I don't have time for this uh, let me just it's so painful on camera let me do some random stuff like this try to have your mesh actually manifold so okay whatever exit out and you have some blocks over here and it even applied a uh, simple wireframe hey look look at this this is a santa claus face probably yeah and uh, another block let's probably just select some more faces and bevel it you can try to poke a hole somewhere you can try to do literally anything you can even uh, I don't think you can bully on this but you can uh, you can do some fun stuff and here we go a little too much geometry over here and maybe let's let's add some loop cuts over here and uh, select this extract this bevel extract bevel and just like so we have some fun stuff here and it looks okay now what do, what else do we have have this block let's do some super simple stuff Here we go. This is some fun looking building. And uh, now, once you have your own customized building, uh, let's just see how it looks. Let me disable the, I guess let's see how uh, I made a demo of uh, the original building. Let's, take a look at that and once again I need to do this probably aha uh -huh. now let's go into this mode and here we go are seen and um, yeah I also made okay I also made some bridges that I will include in a file like this one over here is uh, 
This one should be like semi-procedural as well. Do I have it in here? Okay. Oh yeah, I have an arrow in here. I will make it bigger probably in the file. So you can grow this bridge or uh, you can pick any other bridge that I, that I made. And actually, yeah, let's just make a quick scene. Uh, scene, okay. Building block zero one. This is the new one. And you probably need to Let's hide this for now and let's remove the controllers. Okay. So now if I add some more of them And let me probably remove my camera for, for now. And uh, I will proportionally edit this to be rotated randomly and select everything. And once again, proportionally rotated this and duplicate it again. And uh, maybe shrink it down. Everything but Z and make it bigger in here and change don't worry if it clips it's not uh, that big of a deal it's not going to be really visible and uh, well it, if it floats it's not it's not good you can change the scale a little bit it's uh, not going to matter So now, in a couple of seconds, maybe a minute, we have kind of a city. And uh, if you have fog enabled and I have a fog preset in uh, my world settings, here we can try to add some point lights. Like for now, I want to have one here and one maybe here. Try to add them uh, behind the buildings so they help the silhouette shape to uh, to be visible let's have a blue one and and let's have a red one already looks pretty cool but uh, yeah let's have some bridges also I made bridges so bridge one goes here and uh, you can scale them by uh, local x axis and it doesn't really matters that much I'm just duplicating instances and what's cool about instances is that you're only loading in one uh, instance of this geometry so you can uh, use your VRAM more efficiently and now let's add some more bridges and I don't know where my lamp is that but here you go your own cyberpunk city